Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, it's kind of dark. I wonder if that's why it's grainy. It's kind of grainy. Did that help any? I'm not sure. But anyway, let's get started. This is Sunday still. January 26th now. And it's 5.54 p.m. Now, I got this email from Dawn a couple days ago. Let's see. It came, well, yesterday it came in. The 25th. And there's a person on here. That I believe I've shared a word or two from her before. And her name is Margaret Blake. And it's titled, Pray, Do Not Delay. January 24th, 2020, 9.04 p.m. She says, Hello, everyone. I received the following word from the Lord this afternoon, January 24th, 2020. As always, please confirm with the Lord. Shalom, Margaret Blake. The church, and this is her talking. The church is called to pray. Where righteousness stands up, the voice of God is heard. We are the light of God in this dark and corrupt world. The headlines of the world carry forth the voice of the evil one. Now, isn't that the truth? What are the headlines? Coronavirus is up to so many million. Uh, they had, had someone sent me a video where there, a nurse made a video saying, oh, if you can, send us disposable masks and uh, the gowns and uh, things like that. Supplies. They need supplies. They don't have enough place for the people. So, you know, they're making the, the headlines... And all that you're hearing, it sounds really scary. Don't be scared. We have to stand on Psalm 91 and the other promises of God. Either you're His or you're not. And if you are, and you stay under the protection of His mighty wings, you will be protected. Please read and learn Psalm 91. Read it every night so you can go to bed in peace. Let me move on. Okay, so that was about the headlines of the world. Car uh, carry forth the voice of the evil one. The manifestation of its evil root branches out. But the people of God must look to the one, with a capital O, who stands steady at the helm of the ship. Navigating his people through the dark waters of this world. We cannot afford to lose our gaze upon him. He is Jesus, our helmsman, our sight, our eyes. He is our light and our strength. He will uphold us with his righteous right hand. He said that he would. Now we have to believe him. What do we have to fear? If God be with us, who can stand against us? These are the days long ago written of. The days to come when the earth and all its inhabitants would quiver in fear. But only those found faithful in the Lord will look with their eyes and see the reward of the wicked. That's a line from Psalm 91. Though a thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, it will not come near me, for I will only look on and see the recompense or reward of the wicked. Okay? Thus says the Lord. Now here's where the message begins. Do not fear, little ones, says the Lord. I am with you even to the end of the world and to the very end of time. All these things must come to pass. For the seeds of sin were sown long ago. 
and now spring up in the soil of their corruption. But do not despair, for I am your shelter and your shield. You will only look with your eyes and see the reward of the wicked. Pray now for those yet to come to me. Pray now for those yet to come to me, because without me they have no shield and no comforter. And who is the comforter? The Holy Spirit. But you, my beloved, have me, and I am mighty to save. Pray, for all your prayers shall be answered. Time is of the essence and is so very short for many. The pestilence is stalking in darkness. The enemy is attacking on many fronts. And I am about my father's business. But it is your prayers that will put me in every place of need. Pray for all who are in need who need healing, who need deliverance, who need protection, who need guidance, strengthening, and hope. Every prayer is critical. Do not delay. Many lives hang in the balance. I know all that is needed and have placed you, my children, where you are and am revealing to you the needs of others, so you would cry out to me, Do you not see my hand of grace at work? You are living in perilous times, but I am watching over all my children. I see the suffering of all. This is your call. To work with me. Uh, to work with me. That sounds like we got to do something, don't it? To do the will of my Father and be about my Father's business. There is work for everyone. The fires of sin and hell are erupting on earth everywhere, which is the truth. There's things going on everywhere, and, and, and it can make you fearful, or it can make you wonder, why haven't we been raptured yet? But it's all in, it's all in God's hands, so we don't worry, okay? All right, now we're, let me finish what he said. There is work for everyone. The fires of sin and hell are erupting on earth everywhere. But you, my children, will extinguish them with your prayers and righteousness when you cry out to me. You will trample the enemy under your feet and see the reward of the wicked. That's three times he said that, isn't it? And see the reward of the wicked? Or maybe she said it once up here, yeah. And then the Lord's said it twice I think but anyway he ends with do not delay pray so maybe you can't get out and be a street preacher I can't I, I, I know that unless the Lord gives me a wake up call and uh, he has to tell me if I, he wants me to try to do that but I can pray, I can share with you things he says to us through others so that you know what he's telling others if you haven't seen it somewhere else already. You can pray and I think he's wanting us to pray for more than our own immediate household, okay? And yeah, it takes time and energy. And it sure helps if you can pray in the Spirit. But even if you can't, you can pray in your own language. 
for most of us, that's English. And just... Um, pray about these things, he said. Now, I tell you what, I'll try to copy and paste this in the description box if it'll fit. If you want to go back and read, so you can write a list, or you can just go back and listen again. I'll, I'll try to put at least the parts where he says, pray about, um, where is it, um, here it is. But it is your prayers that will put me in every place of need. Pray for all who are in need, who need healing, who need deliverance, who need protection, and who need guidance, strengthening, and hope. Every prayer is critical. You know, our prayers go up to heaven, and there is uh, incense to the Lord. And he, uh, how is it worded? Um, no, I'm, I'm conf confusing that with tears. He keeps our tears in a bottle. Our prayers are as incense to his nostrils. I'll try to find that and put it in the description box too. But anyway, the point is every prayer counts. Even if, if you only pray five minutes a day for this prayer, paragraph right here. I'll put this paragraph in. I know that'll fit. Okay? So I'll end this here and I'll say remember, we are all called to pray. Alright? That is one of the things we have to do. It is one of the things we've been called to do. And everybody can do that. Even if your throat is so sore you can't talk which mine is getting there now. <clears throat> I pray it's just from the coughing and nothing else new. But anyway, the point is, if you can't verbalize a prayer, you can think it in your head. So, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, my computer, and over each and every one of you. I pray for your health to stay well. For your minds to stay sharp. And for your eyes to stay focused on Jesus. And have no fear of the headlines coming from the elite who want to scare you. Remember that. They control the media. All the mainstream media, all the newspapers are controlled by the Illuminati. Alright? So I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you your devices, and your internet connections so that we can stay connected until we're out of here. And I just cannot believe it will go past this year. And how soon? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. All right, with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.